Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> thank you once more. And um, welcome back to the John Mayaki Show. Um, this, to this Sunday, we want to discuss um, a trending issue in the country, quite trending. Uh, not trending positively, but negatively. On a daily basis, we hear of ritual killings. Uh, some people say it's because it's a political um, era or, or it's an electionary year, and so. But 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 uh, but it's more of um, money rituals, Yahoo killings, Yahoo plus. And so this afternoon we'll be discussing: Is the country sick? What is happening to our society? Are we losing our minds over what to eat? over the car to drive, over, over what to drink, what to and drink. tomorrow the person gets all the billions and if he, he falls sick and his money is not able to help him and the, the guy dies and it's over. Then all the struggle for wealth is over. Today I'm being joined by Idris Zekari Jr. Mr. Zekari, good afternoon. Oh, good evening already. It's evening already. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I secondly, and I, I secondly um, another person is joining me on the show. We have Jennifer Serrano. Good afternoon, Madam Jennifer. Good afternoon, Madam Jennifer. Good afternoon, Sir John. Thank you so very Good much. Afternoon. Pleasure to have you again on this show. Thank you. The pleasure is always mine. And so, viewers, today we're discussing of ritual killings. We're discussing Yahoo teenagers and a Sikh country, a Sikh country. Guys, um, the lines to call is right there display on the screen. Um, call us and share your thought with us. We, we can't go on this way. We need, well, it's a sorry situation. While the Boko Haram guys are killing over there, the bandits are killing, and um, armed robbers are robbing, and um, you, you have accidents over there, and you have COVID-19 killing, and of course, the Delta variant too, and uh, malaria is killing uh, some other guys there, cholera here, and uh, se several problems, several. And then the Yahoo guys, and then the Yahoo guys just want money. I mean, I mean, Jennifer, Jennifer is not in nothing matter. I don't know. What, 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 what are you thinking? What is wrong? Okay. Um, I thought and thought about it hard. And the reason why we're seeing um, ritual killing in Nigeria, um, it, it has its roots in religion. As a people, we're religious people. And they say religion is the opium of the poor. Yeah. As a people, we believe very much in, in gods, in something we don't see. We have been taught to, to be helpless and seeking some invisible power. This is what is, we are seeing playing out. It didn't just start from the ritualist. I would say it started from the church. Are there invisible powers? Are there, okay... I mean, this morning... It started from the church. Allow okay. me to come. The okay. pastor in the church will tell you, if you give this seat, you will get miracle money. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying? If you... Did you get the miracle a lot? There was one miracle a lot. And, um, Mr. Zachary, there was one miracle a lot the other year. Last year, I think. There was a church that said that you are going to be getting money in your account. But she's true. That, that is correct. Go ahead. Go ahead, madam. So you see, this, this thing started from there. Hmm. Where most of us were raised to believe that don't give money in the church. Don't do anything. Money will come to you. They will tell you, Malachi 3, forgive me, I forgot the verse. Oh, put me now here with save the Lord. If you talk to me, I will open a window in heaven and you will not have enough room to con contain it. So that's how we <laughs> to believe. So most of us started out like that. I also was one of those people who used to believe if I give money in church, don't do anything. Money, I'll just see sack of money in my house. Just like that. God has opened the windows. This is the concept. This is where it started. Hmm. Hmm. And then you now have 
you know, imams who tell you they will do something for you, you will get money. Miracle money. Miracle money. Supernatural prosperity. No effort on your part. One spirit will bring you money from somewhere. This is where all of, it's all about religion. And you will find this playing out in Africa. And, you know, places like India, um, all these countries where there's high belief in some power somewhere. So they have removed the responsibility of wealth creation from themselves. They have put it in the hand of something invisible. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to do something to place something somewhere, and that is the thing that will make us rich. I'm telling you this, even when you start a business in Nigeria, I remember when I started my restaurant, some people came to me, ah, are you doing anything? I said, I don't understand. Ah, you can't want to open a restaurant just like that. You must go and do something. It's not done with ordinary eyes. This is it. They tell you, if you want to be successful in this, you must get involved in this. If you want to be a politician, you must get involved in this. If you want to even sell bread, you must have some spiritual backup somewhere because you don't have to do the marketing. You don't have to do the legwork. It's some spirit somewhere that will do it for you. <laughs> this is the root cause of all of this. So why it was not balanced? Our young people who are in the microwave generation. Microwave generation means instead of warming my rice for 30 minutes on low heat, I put it in a place, press button, two minutes is done. They now fast track the nonsense that we have been doing for a long time. That's what we are seeing playing out. So while some of us can go to church, give seed, that, oh God, as I give this seed, miracle money will come, and we are patiently praying and waiting for it. They want it now. And somebody has sold them the ideology that this is what they have to do, kill um, another person, shed blood, to get it. So this is the root of it, the, 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 the root cause of it. So it is in our society where we believe in, in spiritual wealth and, and not in our own ability as people to create wealth. Mm, mm. We don't believe in labor. Mm. We don't believe in our own skills. Mm. We have all come to rely everything on God yeah. or a God somewhere. Yeah. This is where the root is. That's where the problem started. Mr. Zachary. Only we see our young people multiplying it. That's mm. all. Mr. Zachary, do you share that thought? Well, uh, she has said it all. Uh, I've been laughing. Although it's, it's a very serious matter, there's nothing funny about it. But if you think of it a little bit, it's more of a comical uh, thing than a tragical thing. But it is, uh, the, the consequences are tragic, but the ideology is comic. I mean, how do you explain that the skull of a human being is a recipe for wealth? Like when you remove this one and the skull, you will use it to make wealth. I mean, what no, kind it of doesn't necessarily mean your skull can produce that kind of action. Mm. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm assuming, I'm imagining it. Mm. How can you possibly believe that the the the, the female body, mm. the breast of a woman, mm. will make you rich? How can you believe that when you gorge out the eyes of another person, mm. it will produce money for mm. you? Uh, it's, it's a sick ideology that we need to start correcting. Money does not come from any spiritual means. Money is physical. Money is what you see. In fact, the money, the paper you see is not even the money. The value of it is the money. What, what is money to you will not be money to someone else. Yeah. What is money in Nigeria will not be money in the US. Mm. What is what is uh, your measure of value in Nigeria will not be the measure of value for somebody outside the country or elsewhere. But we must begin to reconscientize our people, and I think that's the very essence of this program, to speak to our younger generation that uh, we will not continue to place emphasis on things. Uh, we will not begin to continue to major on the minors uh, by trying to use a... Uh, it, it, in fact, it's a game you can still trace it to lack of financial education. I can I for example I started learning financial education very late in my in my youthful years. I wish what I know now I knew it when I was 17, 18. I didn't learn it on time. I, I had to go through primary school, secondary school, university, and you will have parents who have sources and then you will graduate, then you will help you. You have learning. You know.
and how to keep, how to save, first of all, how to what? make, how to keep, how to invest. These are okay. three recipes for making money. And if you don't know this, and you are hoping to gorge out the eyes of a young lady or look for a virgin somewhere, so this, this are even for humans. There are lots more. We are talking about humans. That's why there's this outreach. If you know what has happened to our lizards, if you know what has happened to our rats, if you know what has happened to our rabbits, if you know what has happened to our goats and our cows and our hens and our chicken and the rest of them, food that we are supposed to eat, we are talking about food security. People go, cut it, put it on a shrine, and then they expect money to come from there. It is a sick, sick mentality that we need to begin to correct. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zachary. Now, if you're watching us, the lines to call are there displayed on the screen. Um, call us and share your thoughts with us because, um, like I said, <coughs> somebody somewhere, somewhere uh, around <coughs> this country um, was eating two guys or so. They, they, they seem to be eating, it wasn't their own feces. I mean, their own yeah. waste. I mean, I mean, and they, they were expecting money also. Were they expecting that after eating it, they'll get some money? <laughs> no, um, okay, yes. allow me to come in. Yes. The story about feces yes. um, is one I've heard so many times. And there was that video, I recall I sent it to you, Sir John. Um, but away from that, we can discuss all the various... Um, um, systems that has come into place in our country. Um, aside from the human sacrifice, there are people who believe in certain things to bring them money. So it's still all down to we have taken away our own ability and vested it in another, an invisible other. This is the problem we see played out in Africa. Um, it is a serious issue. You would see in our country, every street has several churches. Mm had multiple churches. Every street, no matter how small it is, there is a church, minimum. Some will have four, some will have 10, some will have 20. We don't have industries. We don't have capacity building institutions. We don't really have it. So this is the problem. So when people are raised without the right education, they have a problem. Education, I always tell people, is not... 6334 is not going to school is because when your education is not complete, you are not educated. Like he said, he didn't learn about money until after university. So our education is not complete. They don't teach you how to create wealth. Mm. They just tell you to write aimless notes mm. and do aimless exercises that have no correlation to real life, that has no real correspondence to wealth creation. So... A lot of people now come out of school, no jobs, they are not even employable, they don't even know how to start a business, they are frustrated, and we find these things playing out. Now, the younger generation, why they are going into this way, they have seen their parents, they have seen their uncles, they have seen people ahead of them who have studied, who have you know gone through school, but have no job, have no means of survival. So they are like, why should I waste... 20 years of my life pursuing an education that will not be useful to me. Why don't I look for an alternative route right now? So that is why we're seeing it in the younger generation. As I said, our younger generation, what they are learning is they want results without putting due process in. And they hear of people like Mark Zuckerberg, who made money at 22. They hear of a lot of billionaires. They don't understand where they got money from. All the um, people that are glorified on our social media, the hush puppies of this world, who drive flashy cars, wear designers, and nobody knows how they made money. So our young people now, they don't want to go through the process because all the people they saw were going to school and working hard are poor. So you would learn. They say experience is the best teacher and you should be a wise enough person to look at the people ahead of you and learn from their experience and they happen to you. So this is what I would say we see playing out. We can blame everybody. We can say our movies have glorified it. And I remember even when I was little, there was the Living in Bondage movie. Mm -hmm. I was little. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen all those kind of movies early on in life mm -hmm. showing ritual money, mm -hmm. ritual, you know, how people make mm -hmm. money that way. We have music that magnifies wealth in our society. Um, we have our social media also, you know, showing wealth without showing process. Mm. Because people on social media will only go to show their successes. Yeah. They will not show the process on how they got it. They will not show the challenges they face getting it. 
So all of this we see played out. But I am a, a person that believes in solution. Mm -hmm. What can we do now yeah. to correct this? Yeah. This is where I'm at. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, I, I, I keep saying I that, keep um, saying malaria, that um, malaria is killing so, uh, a lot of people because sometimes in this country you hear someone that, what happened to him? I saw him yesterday. Oh, oh, lack of exercise. Oh, he had cardiac, cardiac arrest. Oh, just minor headache. He, he died. And uh, a lot of, sometimes you won't know. These guys simply, they, they, they got in themselves involved in some ritual activities and they had to die. Oh, the guy died while he was driving. Oh, he, he died of hysteria. He died of hysteria. Oh, I mean, um, Mr. Zachary, it seems not his source. It's not a shortcut to where. It's not a shortcut to where. There's no shortcut to where than the hard work. I mean, proper education, hard work, and uh, let money work for you. You don't work for money. Let money work for you. Mr. Zachary, what are your thoughts? But, uh, like like, uh, uh, like uh, you, the previous question you asked about the guys who were uh, eating their fika matter in the middle of the road, mm. I mean, as disgusting as that is. You saw it? Uh, you have to. You saw it? Yes, I did. See, I, oh. see the, I saw the video. It happened in Oweri, in most state. Uh, let's, let's Wait, well, have they been arrested? You uh, do you know if they have been arrested? I, I got information to the effect that they were arrested for, uh, they call it a improper behavior in public. I don't know if that is anywhere in our laws. But there's an explanation to why you see a lot of the sudden deaths you are seeing. Mm -hmm. I can explain some of them to you. I mean, when somebody, uh, you, must have, you must understand how physics is produced so that you know what will happen to the person who is eating physics. The, 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 Physics is the waste, is the worst of the materials that have gone through your body. That's what you pass out as waste. It's called waste. And that's why where you put it in your house, they make sure that as soon as you flush it down, you are never going to see it again. It's gone forever. But for somebody to start eating that, and then the person dies suddenly, you have consumed a lot of diseases, a lot of things that are not healthy for your system. You have put it back in your system. I'm not a doctor. There are, there are those who cut their arms, who cut things in their arms, who will grind animals, a lot of funny, funny things, and then cut things and then put it inside their hands as a form of protection so that when you talk, so cut their tongues and put things there, cut their head and put things there. So that when you talk, whoever you are speaking with, you understand it. Let us allow our people know that. Well, the the person we understand? Are, yeah, are you saying when you talk, the person you understand or what? <laughs> When you talk, the person will have no choice. We obey. Talk as soon as you say it. Whatever you say, the person must, you know, respond appropriately. We must let our people know that the white people you are collecting money from, they are actually smarter than you. They are wiser than you. They give you money out of trust, not because there's one Babalawu that can do it. The Babalawu can help you. The Babalawu that has well helped himself. So the sudden death you are seeing, is go there, there's no action without repercussions. Even when you have something that looks like magic, there's miracle, there's magic. Like those uh, miracle money you talked about at the start of the show, that's not miracle. It's supposed to be called magic money. Because when money enters your account and you have not worked for you and you've not earned it and it's not coming from them, it's not part of your thing. No, no, it no. It's a, a man of God. A man of God. A man of God. The man of God is not a magician now. A man of who God was were, involved. Who were, who were, who were, a powerful man of God in this but, country. But, but, let, 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 let me let me explain something to you, mm. uh, Mr. John. Yeah. Our God is a miracle of fucking God. That yes. is the spirituality. Yeah, yes. I actually do believe that the spiritual controls the physical. Yeah. However, our God is not a magician. Our God is a miracle working God. It then means when you are in a position of hopelessness, you must believe that God is by your side. And when you believe that God is by your side, it's a motivation for you to work, not a motivation for you to expect miracle money. There's no such reality. As miracle money. The same thing, there is no social reality as rituals. As I see a lot uh, of that people, man of God, am, that man of God, I'm not, sure. I am not, I am that, not, that man of God, I'm sure you understand, <laughs> he is building one restaurant now where poor people will eat. Where they just be eating, just go there well, and eat. Are you aware of that? Well, I, I wish them were with that. No, you've know, not heard of that. Have you heard of that? Even the worst people on earth. Let's pick this call. Let, let, let's pick this call. All right. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon. Your name and where you calling from? Yes, I'm calling from Bayesa. Bayesa, what's your name? 
Okay, joke. Okay, joke. Okay, joke. Yes, your contribution, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. I'm with you. Go ahead. Every child wants to make quick money. Mm. He wants to live dangerous life. Mm. If I could go back years back, my, 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 my father, when I come back from school and come back with new standard, he said, My friend, come here. Where did you get this from? How did you get money to buy this? I said that I saved this money from my family. It's going to school. But this day, every child wants to live like this. Oh, thank you so very much for calling. We appreciate, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so very much. Um, uh, go ahead, sir. So, as I, as I was saying, we it's time to begin to re-educate our people so that when you are clear, if you, if you are able to the rubbish from the substance and you focus on the substance, you will get to where you are going to faster than when you are having to contend with both the rubbish and substance. Mm. So what people know that you have to learn how to make money, you have to increase your capacity to make money, you have to increase your value to make money. And when you are starting making money, no matter how little, you must learn how to keep money. Okay, because Mr. it Zachary, is easier to Mr. make Zachary, money than how to make much, money. How much money do we actually need? How much do we need to eat? Um, look, but, look. But it, it, I mean, it, it, depends, don't forget... it depends on your appetite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends. It depends on your appetite. Mm. For I, I as a person, I want to be rich, <laughs> not because I want. I, I, one of my goal in life is to spend the first half of my life making money, mm. and to spend the second half giving it all away. I don't hope to keep so much for myself. And I just, I started very late because I didn't learn how to make money on time. I've always known that I want money. I want to make money. I want to be rich. But I didn't know how. So we tried, and this came as a form of informal education. You start going through YouTube, you start watching successful people, starting learning how to how to how to associate with people, started learning how to keep the right company mm -hmm. because the right you are the average of the five people you hang out with. Mm -hmm. So you start keeping the right company. You start keeping okay. I have Mrs. Ms. Serrano, and then I have Jomayaki. I will not be so much lower than them in terms of finances. <laughs> Somehow they will bring me to their level. So people don't have this kind of knowledge. You are staying in a place where they are smoking weed, where they are playing gamble, mm. where they are chasing every girl. You drink alcohol. And you are hoping to be you drink alcohol. Yes, mm. I, I, I are hoping to become a two campaign. Mm. I wish you luck with that. Thank you, um, um, Madam Jennifer. So, so we we discover that um, in in the country where you guys uh, hello is that Jennifer there. I am with you, sir. Good, good. We discovered that in Sina Climbs, in Sina Climbs, where um, Zachary said light is brighter there than his own in Lagos, I discovered that uh, people, <laughs> the amount of hard work there is. You see, abroad people work and work and work and they pay their bills and they make money. You can't. You see, when I was schooling in the UK, I, I went to the bank and said, um, I want to withdraw so 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 amount of money from my account. I mean, they, they, they simply, they, they told me that I should go to one office and they, they started interrogating me. How did you get, uh, I mean, 200,000. I can't withdraw 200,000 naira. Just to pay rent. I needed to pay rent and I need the uh, buck money to just uh, pay. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, but unfortunately, this is a country where people just want to make money. They don't care where it comes from. Is it because... There is this. Um, there is no hard work among us. Also, yeah, in the UK, in the US, people work and people. There's value for money. Jennifer, what do you think is the problem? Um, 
As I said, and I still say, a lot of our problems are from root causes. We're looking at the religion. We're looking at the family. Family makes up the beginning for all of us, the foundation from every single one of us. What are the beliefs from home? What are the beliefs the parents are transferred to the children? And the parents also, where did they get their beliefs from? In societies outside mm. of Nigeria, outside of Africa, outside of this, what you call third world, why are they third world in the first place? Do you understand the definition of when they say third world countries? They're talking about countries that are underdeveloped mm -hmm. and that have high poverty rates. Mm. And ask why? Because there's a failure of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Like the majority of the population are not enlightened in their minds. Mm. That's why they are third world. Africa is referred to as a third world. Nigeria is a third world country. Mm. Because there is a lack of intelligence, mm -hmm. financial intelligence. Mm -hmm. This is why most of the countries that we borrow money from don't have the wealth that we have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because we don't have the intelligence mm. to work for it, we are taught as Africans to beg. U.S. give us money. China give us money. Russia give us money. Everybody give us money. We are helpless. Even though we have oil, we are helpless. We have gold. We are helpless. <laughs> we have copper. We are helpless. We have tin. We are helpless. <laughs> We have agriculture. We are helpless. Mm. We have natural landscape that yeah. can bring us tourism wealth. Yeah, we but we are stupid. stupid. Ah. I've always said a lot is missing in the education of Africans. Correct. We can blame anybody, but I think it's time that Africans start taking up their own education. Look at the world changers in Africa. We mentioned Mandela. We mentioned Awolo. We mentioned the likes of Fela. These are all people that studied in the UK. Yes or no? Correct. Or oh, uh, Ojuku. Mm. All the important people, look at the people that have changed the course of Africa today. A lot of them had Western education. Mm. Why do you think that is? Because there was something that they were taught. That opened their eyes, so when they came back home, they came to challenge the status quo. But we were told, we were told it's recolonization, recolonization. Well, as I'm saying, Africa has been free. Nigeria has been free for how many years now? 60, mm. 62? Yeah. 60, we can sit down, change our education syllabus. Now, for example, my organization, TUPN, is one of the things I'm conversing for, that we need to change our education system. You see this idea of 6334? It is stupid, it is useless, it is senseless, it's not producing anything good. We need to go look at countries that are doing well, post-industrialization. Mm -hmm, we look mm -hmm. at countries that have strong economy. And Germany was a strong economy, apart from the weight they carried in EU, on their own they're strong. Look at countries like Switzerland. What are they doing well? And I studied some of their systems which is, there is a lot in the education. In Switzerland, for example, hardly do anybody go to university, but they put practical trainings in, in the education system from early age, from primary school. They start identifying career paths, identifying what you can do, building up your acumen as what you can do. In Nigeria, I, I, I mentor a lot of young people. I have a lot of young people in my organization. When I talk to most of them, here's what I found out. If I ask a young man, what, what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. Or I was studying, uh, I studied civil engineering, but there's no money and uh, I'm not in school again. Then you ask them, what can you do? I found out 97% of them look at me like, what's she talking about? Because as far as they're concerned, they can't do anything. They tell you, I studied uh, civil engineering. If I say, what can you do? They'll be looking at me like I'm the stupid one. Because they have been taught that only that paper of civil engineering is what you can do. Whereas that's a lie. 
Nobody came to like any land if it is not cultivated will grow weeds. Mm. This is what we are seeing playing out. Every mind is like a land, mm -hmm. a piece of land. If you don't cultivate the right crop, rubbish. it is useless. That's what we see playing out in Nigeria society today. So from primary school, we need to start changing our curriculum. Instead of all these long, 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 long months, why don't we start identifying career paths? Growing up in Nigeria, they told us you can be a lawyer, a doctor, a farmer, or a teacher. They don't teach you that you can do IT. They don't teach you you can create. They don't teach you that you can be a, fas a fashion designer, or you can be a furniture creator, all these interior decorations. I remember when I said I wanted to study fashion in secondary school. My family were like, if I, there was a family meeting on my head. Hey, you want to be a fellow? <laughs> go for me. Go for me. You must go to school. You must be a lawyer. How many lawyers do we see today that their black suit has become gray for poverty? You see? They were telling us, my grandfather, God rest his soul, study so that you can get a job in the civil service. Mm -hmm. You can be rising through the ranks and become a pamsec. <laughs> See, that, and that is a helpless part because they have you. You are a useless person. You can't think. Just go and enter civil service. Just stay there. Mark your register this year. When you graduate, you when you get to a point, they will give you pension. Not use your head. You can be an employer of people. Use your head. You can solve an employment problem in Nigeria. You see the problem? These are foundational problems. Education is wrong. We need to change the syllabuses in all the levels. Yeah. We need to look at a different part of education from young minds. We can see now 14-year-olds are doing rituals. So do you see 14-year-old needs to, to be to be to have their brain overhauled? We need them from kindergarten as they're learning A for Apple. You need to learn different career paths. A for astronauts, B for for footballer, <laughs> you know, C for carpenter. These are things you can do. W for welder, B for vulcanizer. There are paths that you can take. We need to start seeing dignity and honor in skills. Everybody wants to go to go go to university. And I sit down in an office wearing suits. That's where they think there's money. And it's a lie. There are organizers that have more money than bankers. Yeah. Yeah. That's there cool. are hairdressers, hair designers today. They have more money than TV presenters. Yeah. So all these things need to go into the foundation of our society. Okay. Also, I feel that religious leaders need mm. to be censored. Yeah. Yeah. Every pastor, <laughs> every yeah. imam. Then we miracle, you. <laughs> miracle money needs to be shut down, needs to be sanctioned. Stop lying to people that God will just rain money from heaven. I give money, but as led by the Spirit of God. But here's what God does for you. If you read your Bible, you will understand how God works. Look, God has never come down for anybody. Neither has God, apart from the children of Israel that got manna, did God rain down food for anybody? Hmm. The pattern that God has blessed people with is he shows them what to do. Hmm. Solomon, who is referred to as the richest, wisest man, he asked God, he said, God, give me wisdom. Hmm. The Bible says that Solomon had wisdom hmm. and he was excellent as a tradesman. That's why he was the richest person. People, you know, hmm. pastors will not tell you the truth. They tell you, give money, God will bless you. It's how did God bless a, a, a Solomon? Gave him sense. He started trading. They were, the Bible said that in the days of Solomon, silver was like nothing. Because the man had sense. He had economic sense. Look at Jacob in the Bible. When he was in Laban's house. And, you know, he was being cheated. God showed him what to do. And he had sense to go and negotiate a deal. So, we cannot, we need to start censoring information coming out. Any person who is there trying to swindle people, telling them, just give me money, it will be all right. Mm. No work, no <laughs> sense, no business, just, <laughs> they should shut them down. 
let us help you so that they don't go and pray and um and they deport you back from uh, Nigeria, <laughs> from UK to Nigeria. I'm afraid. <laughs> Jennifer, are you not afraid? <laughs> Uh, they could pray no, and they, 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 no they, no, they could pray. Of they could pray and they get you deported back to Nigeria. <laughs> These guys. Can I take it Mira, to you? Mira, huh? Miracle deportation. <laughs> can, I, can I tell you something? Yes. Are you not afraid? Can I tell you something? Yes. Wealth is inside a person. Huh? Yes. It's not my. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm sure there are technical issues there. Who I think we'll get back to them. So, but for me, I think I think what we can do is um, let's know our neighbors. We need to know who is staying in the other house there. We need to know who is staying opposite you. We need to know what, what is he doing. What, 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 look, let us care for each other. Let us. You know, when we say be your neighbor's keeper, it's not because you want to give food to your neighbor. It's not because you want to assist. No, what is what am I doing at home? What do I do in my house? What do, where do I work? I mean, we should begin to know ourselves. You see, criminals live in the society. We, we are we are all we know ourselves. And somebody asked me, as a journalist, as a reporter, you you your your your. Unfortunately, my dad is a hard worker. So he was a hard working man before he died. As a reporter. If your dad was caught stealing, and um, you are the journalist, uh, uh, you, you, you saw the story, will you report that, yes, I have a good story today, and your editor said, send the story. Oh, unfortunately, you are not able to send it because you, your dad, your dad, unfortunately, is involved. Oh, uh, his dad was caught stealing the ram over there. Uh, his dad, uh, his, his, mom dad his mom was caught uh, 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 li uh, lifting at the shop. W will you write the story as a journalist? Now, this is, this is the dilemma. You've got to write the story. As a journalist, you have to write the story. But unfortunately, Africa, oh no, don't do it. They will, they, will, they will summon you to a family meeting. They, they will summon you to a family meeting. Oh, no, you can't do that. It's your father, it's your brother, it's your sister. You don't do that. In fact, uh, it's from your community. It's from your village. It, it's from the south-south. Uh, we are together. We are from the, in the, in the north. Uh, if you see something wrong, you, you don't say it. You, you, get, you, you keep quiet. I mean, that is where we have degenerated. That is where we are. You know the criminal over there in the other street. You know the criminal over there in the other street. You, you know it's from your community. You know it's from your Niger Delta. You know it's from your... You say, oh, it doesn't bother. I don't care. You say, oh, it doesn't bother. I don't care. I don't care so far. I'm not involved. I'm not... It's coming to use somebody close. Coming to use somebody close to you as ritual. Tomorrow. You, you can't tell. Because they just tell them. Um, um, what you can do now is to go get someone and um, and um, your sister or your, your son just play around them and they grab them and uh, off they go. I, I see, you see, when we condole this thing, condole this, condole this attitude in the society, we, we get ourselves involved. In fact, we endanger, not our, if we don't endanger ourselves, we endanger the future generation. Uh, and so, I expect my guests to join me. I'm sure there are technical issues there. They, they will join me and will, will put... If you are there listening to us, please call us and share your thoughts. That there's no quick way to money. There's no, there's no shortcut. There's no shortcut. Look, you've got to work. Somebody called me last week and said, John, um, I, I like what you're doing. Uh, uh, send me your account. Uh, I quite appreciate it. Uh, who are you? I don't, I don't know you. I uh, know I saw your line, your number online, and um, I saw your number in the WhatsApp uh, thing. And um, I need to call you to encourage you. No, I told you I need encouragement. Yes, but if you are going to encourage me, is it, are you going to send? I don't know you. No, I ask him questions. No, no, sir. No, what, what have I done that you are going to that you are demanding for my account details? What, what have I done? You, you don't know me. But some people. Oh, thank you, sir. They will jump at it. They will say, oh, yes, I need, you don't need more. You don't, you don't, how much can you eat? How much can you eat? You see, you see, somebody will send me a message. Oh, click this, and then we are going to link you up to, uh, you apply for a loan. I didn't apply for any loan. I didn't apply for any loan. Somebody tells you, click this link, and then 
you who, who assist you on how to apply on how to get the loan millions of naira say no i'm not interested immediately you block them you you see greed greed is the problem greed is the problem when you are greedy you you didn't work somewhere or you want to reap you didn't work somewhere you didn't toil you didn't toil you see free money dash take i dash you i dash you it won't take you anywhere you need to work the bible says i will bless the works of your hand oh he didn't say oh because you deceive somebody with your laptop and you told the lie here you told the lie god will not bless a lie god will not bless a lie and so the bible says i will bless the work of your hand the works of your hand is what god will bless stop stop waiting you see i told people in this new year i have consulted I've, i told my people look for land over there for me if i if i need to cultivate here i need to do my media i need to get a land somewhere i need to you need, you need to do a lot of things you need to see the bible says even the slogan say oh you sluggard oh you slug go to the ant and learn you sluggard, you sluggard, you sleep, you are waiting for the politician to bring money. You are waiting for election period so that money can come. You are waiting for blackmail so that people can give you money. You are waiting to tell a lie somewhere. You are waiting to steal money somewhere. You see, when I was in government, when I was in government, uh, um, uh, the former governor, Adam Sushomole, sent me on an errand and, uh, to do a press conference for somebody. The, the lady just died, uh, Evelyn Buffett just died, or, or may her so rest in perfect peace. Uh, she just died. I, I organized a press conference for her. A certain amount of money was given to me to organize, rent a hall, and um, do some, some things and, um, and uh, get the press conference done. And 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 I organized this press conference. Um, some money was remaining. Some 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 about three hundred thousand there. No, seven hundred thousand was left. And then um, the committee for the press conference said, John, uh, bring this money. Let's share. Say no. We need to inform the the governor. Uh, money is remaining, so that um, if he asks us to share, fine. If he doesn't, you know, we need to go back to the governor. So, I, I, Mr. Governor, look at this money is remaining. Before I got Mr. Governor to return the money, it was about three weeks. And so, ah, is this why you are disturbing me? I am, there was one of uh, the special advisor to the governor there, God, God's will, or God was there. Late or light or Yeri Day was there, and some other guys. Mr. Governor said, no, take key, take the money. Uh, EFCC will not arrest you. You, you, you take that. That was how I got if my first land in Benin. Now, uh, several other, several other instances where, oh, take money, go and do so, 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 go and do so, so, so. And, I mean, you do it. If you can't do it, you refund the money. You say, oh, God, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. This is the money. People, you need honesty. Honesty. It pays a lot because this money of a thing. This money of a thing. Um, if you die now, someone will inherit your goods. Someone will just hear, ah, you are gone. You, 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 you committed sin. You died in, this, in sin. And somebody enjoy your goods. You are going to suffer over there. Mr. Zachary, thank you. Are you back? There are some technical issues right there. Okay. So, okay. Now, um, where are we? Let's um, get our concluding um, remarks so that we can um, go enjoy. In, in, in conclusion, yes. I, I want to so our people. To our people. Yeah especially our parents. Yeah. I, I, when I left, immediately I left my youth service, I got a teaching job. And when my students got to SS2, as we were preparing them for work, more than 70% of the boys left. I, I tried to know why they were supposed to and their wife suddenly left. It suddenly dawned on me that most of their parents take their people HP, uh, what is HP? <laughs> It's a school where you learn advanced field fraud, otherwise called the Awiyahu. There's a school for it? You mean there's a school I, I for it? That's, you know, a child who cannot even... Yes, yes, it's, it's, it's organized crime. So when anything that is an organized crime, you have places where you learn it, where you perfect your strategy. Now, in a child that cannot even spell this or her name correctly, that we're managing and trying to prop up for an exam, mm -hmm. that child wants to go and defraud a foreigner. When you start talking to this foreigner and the foreigner does not understand, you begin to run to from one babala to the other to give you to do <laughs> that you will use to hold the foreigner. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of it all. And scripture said, the love of money, mm. not money. Mm. Money is not the root of all evil. But the love of money, I will add, the unbridled love of money mm. is the root of all evil. 
We all need money for our basic life, our basic necessities. We need money to live respectful and respectable life. But when you have unbridled desire for wealth, those who have money are not the, those who desire it and who can do the most for it. Those who have money are those who have worked the most for it. Those who have had the right education, the right exposure, the right enlightenment, the right procedures of getting money. Those are the ones who have money. So we must begin to reconscientize our people, educate our people, engage with our people, engage with our parents, engage with our religion. And these are religious organizations like Mrs. Serrano has said. We must begin to engage them now. There was there was this this uh, viral video of a pastor in uh, Port Harcourt who was cursing Yahoo boys, and immediately a pastor in Guinea countered that thing and said that he should leave Yahoo boys alone. Two pastors fighting over Yahoo boys. I mean, what does that tell you? The argument was that the other pastor who was talking about Yahoo boys should focus on government <laughs> and leave Yahoo boys alone, and this other pastor was saying that Yahoo boys should stop before the people that he curses them that they use money to buy car they will die. So we must engage our religious houses. We must begin to talk to them. This, this belief, like Mr. Rano said, this belief that you should come and sow seed so that you can, uh, you can... When the Bible says you reap what you sow, it said it both literally and spiritually. When you sow education, when you sow information, when you sow enlightenment into you, you are going to reap results. What you put into you is what you bring out. And... Speaking physically now, what you sow is what you reap. If you go to a farm and you plant it, it's yam you will bring out. <laughs> My mentor put his best. He said, you don't only reap what you sow, you reap more than what you sow. Because if you put two seeds of corn on the ground, you are not going to reap two seeds of corn. More often than not, you reap two, three cups of corn. Mm. You can't even count the seeds. So that means when you sow, you will reap. But when they tell you that your own sowing and reaping is that you should bring money from your account, mm. you should empty your account and transfer it mm. into the church account, and then God will bless you for doing that. I mean, God does not bless foolishness. Mm-mm. And there's no excuse for foolishness. God does not even encourage foolishness. He encourages you to seek knowledge. Mm. The first verse in the Quran is Ikra. Ikra is read. Read means no. No means understand, have knowledge. So we must begin to reconscientize and go and re-engage them. Mr. Rano, are you there? Yes, I am. Yes, I, am. Good, good, I, think, good. I think you were right. The spiritual people were trying to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you, I told you. Oh my God. You stop, stop condemning these guys <laughs> so that they don't, they don't get you deported back to Nigeria. Hmm? <laughs> they are still, they are yeah. Still here. yeah. <laughs> go go ahead, please. Your so, concluding remarks. Yeah. As I was saying earlier, yeah. um, success is not a con from a country. Mm. It's about how you develop your mind. Now people can also blame blame the parents that parents are not raising their children. But I'd like to refer all of us back to a song by Fela. He said when we were young. A uh, teacher is teacher. Remember that song? <laughs> and when yes. we start, will government be teacher? Mm. Will be government teacher? Mm. Culture and tradition. Mm. Mm. So, yes. mm. our culture and tradition over time has glorified, um, like in Yoruba, they have like Ajay. I grew up to hear uh, Ajay Agbe, Ajay Agbe Bewa, mm-hmm. like the God of wealth would support us. Mm. And a lot of people still believe in that. Um, that there is this uh, deity that brings wealth. So all of, you cannot ask a mother who probably um, all her life, you know, I, I don't know if you've experienced when you go to the market, you give them money, and then they'll use the money to touch their head, say, I just believe this is different till today. Someone who grew up like that, and your children what you doing that, how can you now talk to them that they shouldn't do rituals? When they see their mothers going out to give uh, different, you know, I mean, when we were little, they said people used to go to certain places with a bowl of whatever, to some junction, to go and appease something. So it has been embedded in our culture and tradition um, to, to, to appease deities. Um, and I will not get into that. It's not my place to judge anybody's beliefs. What I believe which is what we have been doing in TUPN is helping to raise the mindset of young people, yeah. helping to raise their antenna, 
Mm. Wealth is all over. Yeah. And it just has to do with what can you see? What can you see? Because if you can't see it, you can't bring it into reality. Wealth is, is there. But it is not obvious unless to the educated mind. Look at Africa. Africa has a lot of resources. But look at the owners of diamond mines in Africa. Countries in Africa. They are from other countries. Why, why did it have to take white people to discover diamonds? Why does it have to take Chinese to discover gold? And you see Chinese people in Nigeria, they're in Osho State, they're in Nasara, they're in all the places you and I will not dare go. And they are packing they are... Our, our gold. They are packing our copper. And we are sitting down killing other people to make money. You see the, the foolery of it. So we all need to do better. Now, for those people who have known better, we have a responsibility to educate, to mentor the people that have not known better. Because all these people that are looking for fast money, although um, John Zachary disagrees that it works, but if it hasn't worked for some people, they will not continue the trend of it. So it might work to a point, but they basically is showing that they want free money, they want magic money, that they will put no effort. Somebody somewhere will just be permitting money for them like an ATM. This has been the mentality of most uh, Africans and especially Nigerians till date. So, but the few people that have been better enlightened to know that money will not come from you not doing anything or money will not be sustained by yeah. you not doing anything yeah. need to educate yeah. others. Yeah. You see how much money can we spend? We spend a lot of money. We all spend a lot of money. If we all sit down and did budgets, you know, identify what we spend. We all spend a lot of money as long as we live, as long as we go out, we always spend money. Even if you don't go out to Nigeria, you still have to pay your electric bill. You still have to pay uh, buy fuel or whatever. So all of you, the expenses daily. So what is the solution now is to look at what can we do as individuals to help ourselves. So it's about training that mind, developing that mind, to believe in oneself, in one's ability to discover one's ability and put it to work. This is the solution. This is what we need to be seen magnified in our movies. Mm. You know, hard work mm. resulting in success. Mm. Not when you go to one DBA. This is what we need to do. So we all need